All right, so today we are unboxing and reviewing this wheel dolly made by Daytona. Now, you could actually find this on Harbor Freight's website. Uh, links for this will be in the description below. We not only have four dollies, but we also have the little uh, storage rack. Um, again, links for all this will be in the description below if you want to go pick this stuff up. Um, so this is actually going to be our key, basically, for driving our uh, 1967 Plymouth Fury. Um, we really never drive the thing because it's always pushed up to the side on wheel dollies. And now these are just basic wheel dollies. I'll actually go ahead and show you here. If I move over here, here is the car. And here are the wheel dollies that we have currently. They're just basic ones. You have to jack up the vehicle, push these under the tire, and then bring the vehicle down. And on old cars like this, the frames are super soft. It's unibody. And if you jack it up in the wrong place or jack it up even uh, enough times in the proper place, uh, it will eventually tweak the, uh, the body. We don't want to do that. So that's why we have these right here, which require no jacking at all. You just simply push them under there. And then I believe you push down that lever and it kind of squeezes it together and uh, lifts up the vehicle. So pretty cool. So let's go ahead and uh, just open it up here. This one we already cut into the package, but we really didn't take out anything. All we did is we took a uh, one of the wheel casters out of the uh, bag. But anyways, this is how you'll get it. Nice big box here. By the way, this thing does actually weigh uh, quite a bit. So here is your manual right there. And then here is the actual jack and stuff. And here's all the casters. This is how you'll get them in a plastic bag. That's the one that we took out. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna do a little test here. So since we have four of the dollies here, um, on two of them, we're gonna take apart the wheels here and we're actually going to uh, grease them up because people online say that if you grease them, it makes a big difference. So we're gonna grease up uh, two of the dollies and then we're gonna not grease up the other two and we're going to compare uh how easily the greased up one rolls which i'm sure it'll roll a lot easier but i guess we'll go ahead and see here but here's the wheels with no grease in them they're pretty nice there is grease however in uh, this little swivel joint right here and of course there's four casters and then right here is the actual dolly if i get this cardboard out of the way there you go just like that by the way, again, like I said, I think weighs a decent amount. So here you go. This is where your wheel goes. It swivels, of course. And uh, yeah, there it is. So let's go and get it out and, well, set it up. All right, so went ahead and assembled uh, this dolly right here. And I also lubed up all the wheels. I'll go ahead and show how to do that on the next one here. However, I just want to quickly go over how to um, use the thing real quick. So basically what you do right now with this little uh, loop right here with that down this little pin here is loose and you can move in and out this right here to accommodate a bigger wheel in this case uh, how big this one is right here go ahead and get it positioned under there and then what you're going to do is you're going to flip this without this whole thing moving here there you go just like that Go ahead and get it squeezing in by hand, just like that. Make sure it ain't hitting anything that's not. So let's go in and now step on it a couple times. And there you go, as you can see, wheel is off the ground. Just like that, not by a whole lot, but it is. So there you go, pretty cool. It seems to work pretty well. And then to release it, what you do is you flip this again, it releases that little pin there. And then you could do this again, either with your foot or your hand. You go like this. And it'll slowly release it just like that. And then there you go, pretty cool. All right, so lubing the casters is nothing special. It's pretty basic. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and get a socket here. It is a 13 millimeter. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put it on my impact right here. Uh, you could also do it with a wrench, no issue. Just gonna get on the nut right here. Zip it off just like that. 
And this bolt, well, you don't really have to pay attention to which way it goes in because it could only go in one way, that way. So let's go in and pull the bolt out, just like that. And then try and keep these little, uh, little spacers here uh, on the wheel when you're taking it out of the actual caster bit right here. Now you separate these and they are the same. And then the whole little assembly kind of just falls out here. There is a sleeve in here, right there. Keep that in the wheel. And then here is what you're gonna be lubing. This right here. And then this right here. Um, I'm not really sure if you have to lubricate this, but I went ahead and did it anyways. Um, it's not gonna hurt anything. So there's that. What you're gonna do is get your grease. It doesn't take a whole lot. Get some on your finger, just like that. Gonna lubricate this first. Kind of rub it around on there. Don't get any uh, real globs anywhere. Kind of spread it around as even as you can. Something like that right there. There you go, that's good. And then I try not to get any dirt on this. Then you're gonna go ahead and get another little bit of glob grease on your finger. You're gonna rub it on this one right here. Again, try and make it as even as you can. As long as there's just a good, nice coating of grease on both of these, well, then you should be just fine. So there's that one. There you go, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my fingers now. All right, so now putting these back together, it could be a little bit of a pain, but eh, no big deal. So what you're gonna do, gonna get this one right here. By the way, again, try not to get any dirt on these. I just swept the floor literally a minute ago, so um, there's not gonna be any worry about getting dirt in these. And you're gonna go ahead and get this bit here. Gonna slide it in here. And then you're gonna go ahead and get these uh, little washers or spacers, whatever they are, right there. Try and position them like that. Then you're gonna get the caster bit here. And you're gonna slide it just like that. You're gonna get the bolt. Gonna line up the hole here. This could be a little bit of a pain. Come on now, there you go, make sure it's seated, then you're going to get the nut right here, and you do not want to over tighten this, just get it fairly snug with your ratchet, I'm going to tighten that down just a little bit with the impact here, then you're going to get your 13 socket again, get it on your, in this case I have a ratchet, Just get it till there is a tad bit of resistance. Just like that. And we're very tight from factory either. Now it's gonna sound a little weird just like that. It needs to get all that grease spread around, which might take a little bit of time. And you'll notice it doesn't spin near as easy as the ungreased caster. That's because there's now a little bit of resistance because of the grease. You can see this one here. Spins a little bit easier, but under load, this one should work um, a little bit better. So there you go. So go ahead and repeat that on the other four uh, or other three rather uh, remaining casters. The uh, locking one here, I'll go ahead and show next. It's mainly the same, but I'll go ahead and show in case you're uh, confused. All right, so now let's go ahead and lube up the uh, locking caster here. It has two of these per dolly and then two of the normal casters. So here is a little setup in case you're wondering what it looks like. Right there, pretty basic. So go ahead and get the nut off, just like that. Then you go ahead and get this little uh, lever bit right there. And then you'll take this off right now if you want to, or you could take the whole wheel out first. You really go both ways. There's this. This little uh, tab right here goes into that little slot right there. Keep that in mind. And then just like that, the rest of the wheel is the same. So we're gonna go ahead and lube it up the same way as we did the uh, regular casters. 
All right, so back to this little locking caster bit here. Um, I went ahead and looped up the wheel, put the pin through, it's the same as all the other ones. However, what's different is again, this piece, what you're gonna do, you're gonna get it just like this. You're gonna wanna put that little tab in the uh, hole right here. It could be a little bit of a pain getting it lined up. Really, you could do this with the bolt out and that'll make it a little easier. took me some time on the other one too. Just gotta get that pin lined up. There you go. Just like that. Push the bolt through. And look at this one right here. Put the nut on just like that. And then this one, you want, again, just barely snug, especially this one because this little lever uh, right here has to operate smoothly if you want to uh, if you want to lock it so just get it barely tight and again these are barely tight to being good to uh, begin with so there you go you can see right here little mechanism if it's too tight kind of like this one is yeah let's go and back it off just a little just like that there you go much more smooth now and you can see when you lock it pushes this right this right here down presses against the wheel so pretty cool there you go all right so now for attaching the casters to the actual uh, dolly it's pretty simple um, according to the picture here you have the two locking casters right there on the front here and then you have the two normal ones on the back right over there so uh, I already have one caster on here I'll get the other locking caster here. I'm gonna put it through the hole here. It is keyed, by the way. And you'll go ahead and get the nut right here. And in my case, I'm just snugging it down with the impact and then I'll go with a wrench in a minute here and just uh, double check them all. Just like that, nothing to it really. All right, so here I have both of the uh, dollies here set up on the back wheels. I still have the old ones on the front there, but uh, so far I'm actually pretty happy with it. It lifted up the back of the car, uh, no issue. Keep in mind, this is a very heavy car. Um, and once you start getting it going, uh, it moves super easy. Uh, I'll go and show you guys here. I'll go and just push with one hand. Um, I'll push by the bumper. See, it gets going, but now let's go and try the other way. Well, the casters kind of need to move around. There it kind of reaches a hard spot. And there it's easy, just like that. So once the casters get flipped around, uh, it's it's very easy. Um, even with them not flipped around, it's still relatively easy. A lot easier than those, but there's that. Um, let's go and try and push it back the other way here. Okay, now let's go and try and push it. I already tried this, but I was gonna try like push it with my uh, my thumb here. Try and show you the best I can. I'm gonna put you guys in uh, wide mode here. Yeah, try it with just my thumb. And you can see it's moving it uh, really with no struggle. So uh, once the casters get, casters get flipped around the uh, proper way, it's actually super easy, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other two uh, assembled and see how easy it rolls then. All right, so this is after the, uh, I already ended the video, but I'm actually gonna put this clip before the uh, little outro um, because we still need to assemble the storage rack right here, which I don't think we're gonna use all, the, all that often because uh, the jacks are mainly gonna be on the vehicle here. But uh, we actually did take this out the past couple days and these worked absolutely no issue. It's way better than screwing around with those uh, normal dollies. So um, let's go and get into assembling it here. So it's actually pretty basic. Uh, this little bit right here, that bar is this bar right here. All right. And then um, this little bit right here, you can see they both attach right there with a bolt and a nut. Uh, that bit right here is this bit. And then this bit over here is this bit right here, this bar. So um, it looks very simple. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get it together. All right, so assembling this was uh, super simple. There's really nothing to it. So uh, this one here that says Daytona here, it goes on the left of the little handle here, goes over on this side. 
and uh, you just have a bolt and a nut on the bottom and that is a uh, I believe is a let's see here 17 um, for the uh, nut right there and the bolt and then the nuts for the uh, the casters right here are let's see here 15 um, getting on the casters could be a little difficult if you're using like a normal wrench uh, because unlike the actual dollies themselves uh, these aren't keyed um, so they could just spin freely here I'll show you However, you do have a uh, like a, a nut you could grab onto right there um, with a, an open end wrench. And then you could hold that while you tighten down this nut right here and uh, it'll you know, squeeze it together and then it's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, in my case, I didn't have to do that. I just got the, uh, the caster, pushed it up all the way, tightened down the nut right here and then just got the impact on it and you know, snugged it down. So there it is. You can see these two just bolt together. Then same thing right over here, they just bolt together. There's, uh, you know, absolutely nothing to it. So there it is. All right, so here it is, all the dollies here on the uh, the little storage stand. Um, went on, you know, no issue. And the stand here is super easy to set up as I shown. Um, only took me maybe like five minutes uh, max. Um, do be careful when you're putting the dollies here on the storage rack. Um, these are quite heavy, so you can easily hurt your back if you're not careful. So uh, anyways, yeah, there it is, all of them on the storage rack. So now let's go ahead and roll the outro. All right, so here I have all for the Daytona uh, wheel dollies set up. And uh, so far it seems to be working pretty good here. I'll go and show you guys here. I just push on it here with even one hand. It does roll. I just pushed it the other way, so that's why the casters kind of have to move. But you can see here, once you get it going, get the casters turned, rolls really without issue. Uh, with these, you would pretty much have to have two people um, to push this car with these. Um, these just didn't work very good at all. I mean, they did their job, but you, could, you had a hell of a time pushing it out here. And, uh, and then, you know, you had to jack up the car to get those out. Uh, with these, you don't have to use a jack and they definitely do roll a lot easier. I'll just show you guys here. I'll go and kind of push this way now. And you can see rolls without issue. In fact, it's still rolling and I wasn't even pressing on it. I'll go and roll it back the other way here. I mean, absolutely no issue. I could probably do it with, I don't know, like one finger here. Let's try it. Well, maybe not one finger, but definitely not one finger, but let's just barely grab on here. And I mean, you can see it rolls, no issue. I could do it easily with one hand. So uh, there it is, pretty cool. I'll just show you guys again. Yeah, I'll try it with my pinky this, or my uh, thumb this time. There you go, you can see it's rolling no issue. So uh, that is pretty sweet. Uh, this is definitely a big improvement over those uh, right here. So there it is.